Thank you so much for having us, Dietrich, and uh, to the whole uh, Protocol Labs team. We're super excited to be here. So we are going to uh, talk to you about using the MetaMask Filecoin developer preview. Um, I'm Tom Hay. I'm the head of uh, developer relations at Consensus. I work uh, with the, the MetaMask team very directly. Um, and I also have with me Anthony Albatorio, who is a community builder with uh, all of our decentralized finance products. He's also an instructor with uh, Consensus Academy. Um, so I'll turn it over to, to Anthony to, to start just giving you the context. Excellent. So quickly, what is MetaMask? It's the leading crypto wallet and gateway to Ethereum-based apps. Uh, swap, store, send, sign. It's amazing. It's everything you need uh, to own and manage your own digital assets. So it has all these amazing features for it. And it's available across major platforms. So what, am I, what is MetaMask Snaps? Well, it's a plugin system for MetaMask. So uh, it essentially goes beyond swapping, storing, sending, and signing, right? Uh, it's a plugin system in a script loaded over a, a, and verified. Uh, it's loaded over and verified over a permissionless protocol like IPFS, ENS, or Swarm. Uh, it solves a problem because uh, sometimes uh, plugins can have too many permissions. So these have zero permissions by default. And then you can uh, extend and work with the wallet APIs. So why? Why have MetaMask snaps? Well, uh, the whole point of our whole movement is for decentralization and permissionlessness and uh, just, you know, more uh, innovation. So we don't want to be a bottleneck in innovation. Uh, we also scope the authority. Again, uh, consent is a big thing. We want to avoid the need for excessive authority. So like, let's say a file sharing plugin that doesn't need to know what page you're on, just what things that you want to download. Also, it's more security. So uh, these scripts have zero privileges by default, but they can request to work with certain APIs and then you um, say yes or no. So quick overview again, libp 2 p one of the most underrated projects, I think, in the ecosystem. So think of it, I think of it as a Express.js, but for P2P apps, uh, it's a really mature project. Uh, IPFS is built on that. And then Filecoin is built on IPFS, right? So you have a routing system, then you have a routing system that uh, is used for uh, distributed storage of access and files and websites and applications and data. And then you have Filecoin, which basically incentivizes this um, access of files and uh, websites and data. But then that creates an interesting thing, right? We have we, economic incentives lead to assets and these assets that need uh, lead to the need to manage and access them. Sounds like a job for MetaMask, right? So you go again, swap, store, send, sign, and now more. So a cool idea would be, hey, can you create a dApp that uses Filecoin and Ethereum? You'd be one of the first ones to do so and become a legend. But that's really the context of it, why you would, would need a uh, snap for uh, Filecoin. Just a quick little overview. Uh, so Filecoin beta runs in uh, uh, the Filecoin snap inside of MetaMask. Uh, the snap manages the Filecoin keys derived from the seed phrase in MetaMask. So the snap doesn't see the seed phrase or any keys except for those used for Filecoin. Um, at the moment, it doesn't represent the Filecoin transactions or assets in the UI. That's up to the adaptive display to display how those are used. But uh, again, it's permissionless extensibility. So you can fork it and uh, make it better. All right, so we are not gonna try to poke the demo gods today. Uh, and so we're gonna just walk you through how you would download, install, and start using the uh, MetaMask Filecoin developer preview. So as you can see in this in this GIF or GIF, fun, fun little debate that we were continuing to have on our, uh, our, our check-in to, today. <laughs> yep, stirred the pot. Okay, everyone's awake now. So uh, first, what you're going to do is we suggest that you create a new browser profile. Um, the developer preview is going to work in any Chromium based browser. Uh, it's really built for, for Chrome or Brave. So the, the flow is essentially the same, whether it's Chrome or Brave. Uh, go up to your profile in the upper right corner. Um, click on that profile uh, and then go to other profiles and click add. So create create a new one. Um, so that way you have the uh, ability to install a new um, a new instance of, of, of the MetaMask browser extension without affecting your 
your uh, if you already have MetaMask uh, installed, this this won't impact your existing MetaMask browser extension. So then you will download the MetaMask Filecoin developer preview. I am going to drop that into the chat. Um, and the what you're seeing here is this will be the latest version of the Filecoin developer preview. Um, you should use the build for your specific browser. We have uh, Chrome and Brave. If you're using another Chromium-based browser, just use Chrome. If it isn't, if it isn't, uh, if if you don't see it listed there. All right. So then you're gonna go into the where where you type in the web address, Chrome extensions. Um, that will, and then you'll go and click that to turn on your developer mode. This looks the same in Chrome and Brave. You can use um, Brave instead of Chrome here for for that um, in, in the URL. Then what you'll do is locate and unzip the package um, if if it hasn't been automatically uh, unzipped. Uh, and just understand where that is installed because you are going to need to use that um, use that folder uh, be by clicking load unpacked in the uh, in the browser and then finding where that uh, that file is and then that will actually install the metamask filecoin developer preview Okay, so then you'll need to set up MetaMask and you we really, really, really recommend that you create a new seed phrase or use a specific seed phrase that you have associated with a development account rather than using, if, if you already have MetaMask, then using a seed phrase that's associated with your, your MetaMask. These should be separate. So um, what you'll do is you'll come up with a, a, new, a new password save the the 12 word secret recovery phrase the seed phrase and secret recovery phrase just to give you an idea these are the same uh we we've sort of changed our terminology so you might see now instead of seed phrase we use secret recovery phrase and as anthony pointed out don't share your seed phrase with anybody uh that's why we're using the the term secret recovery phrase even your development one don't don't, don't share that one, best practices. All right, so once you have that done, there is an existing uh, demo uh, DAP that you can interact with and I'll paste it here. Um, and you can actually now use that to interact with, with that DAP and start to sort of look around for inspiration and see what is, is going on. Um, if you want to inspect the source code, we just pasted it in and there's a nice little ability to sort of walk through and understand, oh, this is this is what's happening um, with, with the UI, what's happening in the browser. So we highly recommend that you do that. And then there's a super helpful uh, readme that just gives an overview of, of everything put together by uh, MetaMask Eric Marks. And so uh, definitely recommend that you check that out. We'll be in Discord in uh, Browsers 3000. Um, so if you have any questions about this, you're having any issues, you can always just, um, you know, ask a question and uh, Anthony and I will be lurking in that channel and hopefully helping you, you out. Um, you can also uh, message us in uh, our, our Discord as, as well if, if there's anything that is maybe off topic for, for this hackathon, but you want to go, go deeper on. Um, so a little bit of just incentive to use this. Uh, if you are um, best use of MetaMask, uh, winners will receive a seat uh, in the Blockchain Developer Bootcamp. Uh, here's some information about that. So you can see if that's something that's interesting to you or sort of fits the, the profile that, uh, that, that you have. So that is it from us. We'll share the slides so you can, um, you know, check out the flow. But uh, once again, thank you for having us. We're really happy to be here.